I remember this play. No. Yeah. Like they're chipping you from the inside. Man. You can't believe it. Usually they chip you outside. Man, I'm like, what is going on? Who is that? Is that the back with him? Somebody help him. I had it beat, bro. But I like that though, because it, it, it feels even better when you win those matchups, right? Yeah. They're like, y'all need a third person now. That's your basic crossover yeah. right there, right? Exactly. That's what I was talking about with a crossover. Like, I got the ball in the left hand. Uh, come on. <laughs> going there. Going there right. <laughs> Feel me? And then I'm going to the cup yeah. right there. Then so. you get the inside chip, which yeah. you rarely get. Yeah. Usually you beat him inside. Yeah. That back's only looking to outside help on the outside. Chip. Exactly. If David Johnson just go ahead and leave me alone right here, <laughs> this is a sack. Well, you beat the tackle cleat. So here you are inside here. Yeah. Right? You're inside. So you got the guard. Like that clutch your assembly. He's been yeah. over to Pro Bowl. Yeah. He's a good player. Do you know right now how you're gonna set him up? The thing is right here, when I boom boom, when I jab, boom boom, yeah. when I'm I want him to lean. He lean, lean on me, I'm gone. Now under duress has to roll out and he is dropped. Ball is out. Melvin Ingram punched it out. It's not enough anymore to beat a guy, an all pro, with the spin. You get the ball out. Yeah, that's what we coach though. Sacks are great. Yeah. That's what the game is about, but yeah. A sack force fumble can change the game. Yep. We're trying to impact the game. That's what we're all about. Carr couldn't get the ball out of his hands, and once he paused, Melvin Ingram does what he does. Not only get home, but punch the football out. So when you spin, you got to hook with that elbow, yeah. right? Is that the whole key? You, you hook them with the elbow so they can't recover. Right. And it's going gonna, it's gonna to slingshot you through. Now watch him dip, use that backside arm to gain leverage to get himself through there as he creates the sack. The thing is, I'm telling him right here. You're taking two. That's what I'm telling him right here. I'm taking him inside no matter what. You go inside or outside, I'm going to cover you. The synergy is phenomenal. You yeah. guys know, I mean, that's, that's perfectly done right there. Yeah. As much as you use basketball as an analogy for this game, yeah. do you get the assist here? Yeah, for sure. Well, you don't normally think to stop the run in the way that Baltimore does it, that you're going to come out in six or seven defensive backs to stop it. But it's going to be fascinating to see the game plan that Gus Bradley and Coach Lee came up with because they're going to play a lot of DBs in this game and try and slow the run down. How surprised were you when Gus came in and said, OK, here's the game plan? Me and Gus actually talked about it. I'm like, we going to put seven DBs in against Baltimore? Yeah. Who want to yeah. run the ball right. every play? And he was like, just buy in. Say no more. So it seemed like the defensive line in that, it was even more aggressive. And that's like what we penetrate. That's what we talked about in our room. We got seven DBs on the field. It's cool. But if the ball can't get to them, we ain't got to worry about yeah, not having right. a linebacker. Yeah. You need to have your stars show up in the big games. And Melvin Ingram, hello. Just a playoff game, right? Yeah. So you got you and Bose are both inside. Yes, sir. Now, I don't remember seeing a lot where uh, both you guys are inside. Exactly. That's something we just put in. So you got to take your pick which way the center going to turn. So they're going to slide to Boza. Yeah. and They then, got the back. But, but on I this see play. Him. I see him. I see him coming. Like, he waiting. I'm like, yeah, he waiting for the chip. Yeah. Because nine times out of ten, our offense, the center going to turn away from the back. Right. So me and Joey in there, you, you got to stick to what you normally do. Yeah. So I'm going to lean 74 into him, and he, as soon as he lean, I'm out of there. Jackson in the shotgun, and he's going to be hit again. Melvin Ingram has him on the ground. A spin move. Put Hurst in the spin cycle, and the Chargers defense steps up once again. Do you think this is the answer going forward against Baltimore? Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. It's definitely one of the one of the big answers going forward. It's... it's, it's Fast people for the perimeter, yep. us up front for the middle. Yeah. No, it seemed like, I mean, but seven teams had a chance, and you came up with the formula. Yeah. Did well, you? Gus came up with the formula. Gus yeah. came up with it. Like, I didn't well, know. you had to buy in. There has yeah, to be yeah. buy in. You can yeah, have the greatest plan in the world. We, and we, we, we trust Gus, man. Gus yeah. is, he going to put us in position to be successful. Hell yeah. All right, here we go. This is a run game here. Handoff goes to Martin, and he is met in the backfield. He's going to be dropped for a loss. Melvin Ingram bursts through the line. Do you know that the ball's going inside? You can tell. You can yeah. tell. You can look at people. Like, I knew this ball was going the other way. Yeah. I know it's going the other way. You're already cheating. Yeah, I know it's going the other way. And if you kind of look, when he come up, he 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 giving a call that way. He being a call that way, everybody low-key leaning that way. But the fact that Derwin's outside here, yeah. are you are you yeah. clouded? I like, know, you can go. I know. When I go, if it come back that way, he, yeah, he got you. He done. got you covered. It's done. 
Looking for a place to run, and he's going to be dropped from behind. Coming up to get him is Melvin Ingram. When do you know you're going to swim this guy like this? When he coming hard like that with his head down. Because the thing is, probably two, three plays before this, I'm going to bang him. Bow! Yeah. Bow! You set so him up. So now he like, I got to come because he coming, and then I'm out of there. And here is Richard, and he is tackled behind the line of scrimmage by Melvin Ingram. You make these guys look bad, yeah. you know? Like, do they, you feel bad? Like, you know, no, I feel amazing every time it happens. <laughs> High formation. How about Melvin Ingram as a fullback? And he'll take the handoff. Ingram to the goal line, waiting for a signal. And they're going to mark him short. But on our replay, it was awfully close. First of all, Wiz and Hunt is the offensive coordinator. Yes, sir. So how does this come about? You tell Man, him I'm, every day, yeah, dude, put every the day. ball in my I'm down every day, every day. This will play well. I'm jabbing, coming back across. Okay. And I'm in there. That is clear. That is clear. First effort, maybe no, but then he just kept his legs driving. And boy, that's going to be close. I mean, that's like nose of the football is an inch from the goal line. You see the tight end right here? Yeah. Look, yeah. you see the tight end? Yeah. Where the tackle, 68. My body is like where his <laughs> body is. <laughs> and the ball is across the line. Then, why didn't you challenge it then? Man, that's what I was trying to tell them. <laughs> Thing is, I just want y'all to understand this. Phil got to gotta back out the hole some to let me come straight down. He kind of pushed me out. You wait, see? Wait, 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 Phil? He wired me. <laughs> no, yeah, he wired me. Yeah. I, no, I see that now. I yeah. tell Phil, like, he wired me. If he, he get all the way back, it's me and 55, one-on-one. Yeah. On one. It should be you and 55 and hold. Come on, man. That's money in the bank. But well, it, what I Phil want you to see, six. Phil, he knew it. Phil, my guy, man. That's my, <laughs> that's my, that's my guy. Hey, Phil. Phil. You not get no better than this, bro. You do not get no better than this. We started with that, Melvin, to have some fun and everything. But, like, you are an incredibly versatile guy. Uh huh. Linebacker, end, inside, outside. We can find you lined up just about everywhere. Anywhere. Yeah, yeah anywhere. ain't no telling where I'm gonna line up when yeah. I'm out there. Soon as that fullback take that step, I'm yeah. gone. If you go, like, I'm you gotta going. get there. I'm going. Handoff goes to McCoy. He's gonna stretch it out and he's gonna lose a yard. So, a nice tackle by Melvin Ingram. Melvin Ingram in goal line situations lines up as the middle linebacker because he's elusive and they ran a strong side zone play. Everybody just turning, running, shoulders at the exact same angle and unable to get to Melvin Ingram coming from the backside, hit the front side, B gap, big time play. If you didn't know that you're an all pro defensive end, you would think you're an all pro linebacker the way you play. Here's an interception here, Mel. Yeah. And off the Lynch, no, it's a fake. And Carr under pressure, intercepted in the end zone. How many times have we seen Melvin Ingram from that linebacker position in the goal line fill the hole and make the tackle? This time he just drops off into coverage and gets himself a pick. Like your instincts yeah, exactly. are just what you're supposed to do right yeah. here. You step up, you yeah. read it, then you back up. I mean, that is beast mode right there. Yeah. You gotta respect but the run. But the thing is, you gonna, you gonna know. When he, when he running the ball, it ain't that. Yeah. <laughs> he right. coming down here. So, boom, you, I, I'm coming down reading the run. Boom. It's two tight ends in the game. You still got to understand that it's two tight ends in the game. Okay. So, for sure, when this play action, it's going to be a crosser. It's tight ends. It's going to okay. be a crosser. And nine times out of ten, every offense, they're going to send a crosser to the, the back of the end zone. You're not in with linebackers sitting in meetings no. or anything, but this is just all... It's just understanding the game. I understand football. Keenan gonna run right behind Hunter. Shotgun snap, throws left, Keenan Allen dives toward the end zone, signal touchdown! Oh. What'd I tell you? 